Today I'm going to be showing you how to use our white discord and why it exists. First, how to use it. You'll end up here when you start and what you want to do is you want to go over to start here and then it'll tell you to set your role and set status. So let's click on set role. Set role brings us to this page here where we can see that uh, we have a bunch of things we can select here. So we look for the icon that's relevant to us like programming team. Let's say we're on the programming team. We'll go ahead and click on programming team. It's going to answer, it's going to open, uh, a, you know, ask a question channel, but we still don't have access to everything yet. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. Set status. Let's go over here. Here in set status, we can see um, how many hours we're planning to volunteer per week. And we're just putting that in there. So let's go ahead and choose this one. And that's when everything opens up here on the left side. So now that everything's open, how do you use this page? First and foremost, there's a couple differences to the main Discord from this one. In the main Discord, we have all of our voice chat and all of our public communication. If you want to share something private that's going to um, be there, uh, you know, for everybody for a long time, like a mirror link. Let's say you want all the programmers to know about a mirror link. You can tag the programming team here in programmer chat. These are for urgent messages and private messages. So. Think about something that would give everybody access if you gave it, you know, to everybody. You don't want everybody having that, you come to the white Discord to post it. Second thing is whenever you post here, everybody on the team is notified. So everybody gets a ping whenever a post is made, and that can be a helpful thing. I use it, for example, uh, you know, anytime I have anything to do with design ideas. I put them here in, instead of the other Discord because when I put them here, they'll stay here, right? It's not like a long running chat. It's more like a static dump of information. Um, and it, it tends to be consolidated um, and, and not running away so quick. There's another thing here also. There's going to be a lot of like certificate show offs, meeting notes and so forth. This is a bit too much to put in a public discord because and when we do that, then people get like a million things they have to check. Like, like here, you can see there's a lot of things. I'm on a second account that I need to check here um, because it's all new and I need to, you know, check it out. You don't want to have all these white pings on the other Discord because it becomes overwhelming, right? It's not relevant to the 5,000 plus people that are 6,000 now, I think. Um, we want conversations there to be uh, consumable, relevant um, between people. So that's kind of the idea. Um, and uh, we're going to have all the academy stuff here. So uh, let's say you have a proof, you would put it here. There's all kinds of little reasons to have this Discord. The final reason is security. If something happens in the one, we always have the other. That always gives us a, a little bit more peace of mind and is good for us. Last but not least, we have some special things going on here uh, to do with ranks and roles. There we go. Um, ranks and roles. So, for example, there's an entire mentorship section with uh, a thousand mentors that you get access to uh, once you're an officially elected member. That mentor list is really powerful, job tools and so forth. Uh, this this is all really helpful stuff that you get as you rank up. And so there's going to be new channels appearing here that are a series of resources for you as you rank up here step by step.